السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear brothers and sisters whenever you are wherever you are today we we'll talk about yaqeen which is a total reliance on Allah and believing the reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this happened at the first story of yaqeen in Afghanistan and Balochistan, Pakistan at that time we were touring it was after the September the 11th we were touring actually uh, with Islamic Relief Office in Balochistan going to visit the field offices there in Balochistan and from there we went through the border to Kandahar we stayed a few days there with Sakandra Ali and in Pakistan I was with Umair and I was with Wasim and I was with actually Abdul Mannan Bhatti then after finishing this tour in December uh, 19 no, no, December 2001 uh, for the first time we found that actually in the hotel in 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 Kabul and uh, not in Kabul in uh, in uh, in Quetta, there's a Christmas tree at that time. But anyway, I did not take any notice of this, but I still remembering that. We took the flight to Islamabad. From Islamabad, we took you on the flight uh, to uh, Kabul to go to visit our office and to go to visit uh, the, 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 the field offices there. So it was with me during this journey is uh, Mr. Sakandra Ali, and this was actually after the new year of 2002. And we had a message to deliver to everybody that I told them, let us go around as far as we can in Afghanistan to send a message to everyone that Afghanistan is safe for humanitarian worker to come and work there. And we took the car and we drove to Mazar Sharif, then we drove to the Uzbek Afghani border, then we came back. This took about four or five days by stopping here and there, and we came back to the office in Kabul to meet uh, Abdullah Abdullah, who was actually the Foreign Office Minister of Pakistan at that time. And uh, uh, there's one story here with Abdullah Abdullah. We wanted to meet him before traveling to this area, but he could not be able to meet us because he was busy. So we decided to drop uh, the meeting with him and go to this uh, tour and coming back. And when we came back, he called us to go and visit him. That, that's actually, this is the value of being in the field office with the people. People actually recognize where you were and uh, uh, what you have been doing for their people. So when we came to the office on the last night before leaving the following day to uh, Islamabad, we had a reception in our office to bring uh, media like Al Jazeera, NBC and other organizations to our office for a dinner. But during the day, I was touring the market in Kabul and I'm always fond of eating the local food and I decided to eat uh, Afghani kebab at that time. This was about 2, 3 o'clock, o'clock in the afternoon. By the evening, everybody came. It was a very nice reception to everybody. Then I was called for two meetings, with BBC live interview on the roof of one of the buildings and they came back actually to the office and by 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock I started to feel dizziness, uh, want to go to the toilet and they had this very strong uh, uh, attack of watery diarrhea and uh, ejecting uh, uh, vomiting and uh, my vomit was uh, very fearful. I went to the toilet nine to ten times in about less than two hours. I lost a lot of electrolytes I lost a lot of uh, water and they become in a very, very serious condition. And I started to shiver, my, my temperature rose up and everybody in the office was crying. But while I was inside the toilet, and this is the story of Yaqeen or the total reliance on Allah. I remember the verse on the Quran was talking about that Allah is extracting from the bellies of the bees uh, uh, medicine for everything. And I said to Allah, and it's uh, quietly, oh Allah, you said this, and they believe in that, and they have yaqeen that I will actually take it and you will cure me. And I went out, uh, I asked the brother to get me some honey because we bought some honey from Siraj Mountain on the way back from uh, uh, this area. And I took one big spoon, big spoon. And uh, I, then I went after that to the toilet again and again and again. Then by one or two o'clock in the morning, I couldn't be able to stand, I couldn't to go to the toilet and decided to go to sleep. Everybody was crying in tears because the boss is going to die. I cannot go to the hospital because the hospital is not equipped. So they put me on bed 
Then they covered me with two quilts, very heavy, very heavy, very, and they put a heater next to my head, another heater next to my uh, uh, feet, because it's sub-zero temperature in Afghanistan at that time, like, like UK and like other places. And everybody was, was, waking, was, was awake because they thought that by the morning, Dr. Hanil, Hanil Banna is not going to be alive with us. I woke up in the morning, alhamdulillah, uh, uh, as fit as I was. Then I went to the toilet, nothing happened. Then I decided, because we have to travel on that day to Islamabad, and we decided to carry on. Hamda, we took the car after five, before Fajr, يعني after Fajr, not before Fajr, and it took about nearly, it asked about, about seven, seven hours to, go, to, to reach the border, the Afghani, uh, Afghani, Afghani, Pakistani border. And when I went there to the toilet, I only passed water, nothing else, alhamdulillah. And from there, we, we took another seven hours or six hours to reach Islamabad uh, afterwards. The lesson here is when you rely heavily and totally on submitting yourself to Allah, and then you make a dua, Allah will accept your dua and make it happen. Yaqeen. Then yaqeen, then yaqeen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.